Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, I thought I'd give you a quick update on the Incredible Kingdom Hearts 3 20th Anniversary mod created by Dalin, Latrix, and TKO Days. This is known as Vicennial Trace, a mod that replaces the Kingdom Key's texture and name to Vicennial Trace into a texture that is very much more in line with that of the 20th anniversary theming. Seriously, this Keyblade looks absolutely saucin'. It also changes up the particle hit effects to that of the 20th anniversary logo, which is just so neat. You'll also get a custom second form with the color palette of the 20th anniversary being that of a gold theme. And to put a little cherry on top, you also get a custom main menu screen, which again is very fancy. Because of the fact that Darlin is a bit of a homie and he has done me a solid in the past, I, I thought I'd give you an update on this, just because I really want to share this with this as many people as I can. Uh, recently, they've applied an update to this mod, the 3.0 version, which adds in uh, a little extra sprinkle on top. So let's talk about that. When Sora is in his pirate outfit, or in his Toy Story form, or monster form, whilst in second form, that's that's a lot of forms right there, get dang. We now have that golden goodness going on. This is Sora with the 20th anniversary pirate outfit whilst in second form. And I really love this one, uh, especially out of the three. Uh, just because the gold aesthetic with the pirate outfit is, I don't know, it just makes Sora look like an absolute Pimposaurus Reximus. A neat little fact about Sora's uh, pirate coat is that it is actually inspired through a real piece of clothing that Tetsuya Nomura himself wears. So to see it with that kind of gold aesthetic going on makes the look of this outfit even more base. This is the toy version looking absolutely popping in that golden goodness. And the Monster Sora version with slightly darker fur and of course the golden gloves and top. I especially love Sora's hair with this aesthetic going on, the slightly darker palette on top of his hair with the sort of uh, slightly golden sheen going through really makes him look like he's about to do a catwalk for Versace. But what's even neater about this mod is it does fancy up your camp menu. Yes, the main menu where you change all your shenanigans has been altered to be more in line with the theme of the anniversary. It's insane to think that we're now even up to the point of changing the main menu, like the in-game camp menu. We're at a point now where we're pretty much able to change absolutely every aspect of this game, which is just simply mind-blowing. Rather than calling it Kingdom Hearts 3 PC Edition, this is Kingdom Hearts 3 Endless Content Edition. But yeah, you guys can now see that the highlighted selection has this really nice gold sheen over it. All of the icons have been theme adjusted, as well as that we do have the 20th anniversary logo to the side of the menu. Also, the glow behind any selected items that appear in the item graphic now has a little yellowy sort of golden glow behind the item picture rather than that traditional blue glow. Uh, here's a comparison in side by side of the normal camp menu to that of the Vicennial Trace camp menu. So that right there is the 3.0 version of Vicennial Trace. Apparently this is going to be the last major update for this mod. Uh, but these guys have done an absolutely fantastic job of adding a little bit of that 20th anniversary flair uh, into the game, obviously for the anticipation of that upcoming event and whatever ends up transpiring in the ways of Kingdom Hearts uh, for this year. I have a feeling in my waters that yes, this is going to be a hype year for the series. As I did mention in the initial video, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if Square Enix added a free piece of DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3, something very, very small in the ways of what we're seeing here with this mod uh, for KH3 to celebrate the 20th anniversary, like a brand new Keyblade. As a side note too, I also want to promote Darlin a little bit. He's been doing an absolutely fantastic job in the Kingdom Hearts mod community. I featured quite a few of his mods here on the channel. He mainly specifies in model swaps for different Keyblades for the game. Some of you guys might remember the video I uploaded last year of having my very own Keyblade in Kingdom Hearts 3, even with the Keyblade transformations to go along with it, a literal turkey drumstick as well as a rubber chicken. The person that was responsible for doing this was Darlin, and as of right now, he is actually accepting uh, custom Keyblade commissions. So if you want your own Keyblade in Kingdom Hearts 3, yes, even with the option of also having your own Keyblade transformations, 
this is something that is possible. Dallin, by the way, has not asked me to promote this in any sense. It's just the fact that he's been doing such great work in the mod space, and because he is kind of a homie, I thought I would promote this for him. So if this is something that interests you guys, I'm going to leave his Twitter in the description down below. From there, check out his pinned tweet. It's got all the information you need. Have guys, just a quick update on the Vicennial Trace Fund. Uh, the download link is in the description down below. As always, dudes, hopefully you're having a fantastic day share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace